Deinonychus antiropus was one of the most important dinosaur discoveries of the 20th century, sparking the dinosaur renaissance and highlighting the evolutionary connection between Manoraptoran theropods and modern birds. Although the first remains of Deinonychus were unearthed in North America during the 1930s, they weren't formally described or named at that time. It wasn't until the 1960s, when additional specimens were found in Montana, representing at least three individuals, that paleontologist John Ostrom recognized the significance of this discovery. At a time when theropods were thought of as sluggish, tail-dragging reptiles, Deinonychus stood out as a highly specialized, active predator. Its large, sickle-shaped claw on each foot and stiff tail for balance led to its name, meaning, counterbalancing terrible claw. Ostrom's reconstruction of the dinosaur was revolutionary for its time, presenting it with a horizontal posture and its tail held straight behind it, an active, agile predator, unlike anything seen before. Robert Backer, Ostrom's student, drew this influential image, although the head and neck were depicted more lizard-like than what we know today. A few years later, more fossil discoveries revealed bird-like features in Deinonychus, such as a pelvis and hands similar to Archaeopteryx. This helped fuel the dinosaur renaissance, challenging the view of dinosaurs as cold-blooded and sluggish and reviving the idea that they were ancestors of birds. As the theory that birds evolved from dinosaurs gained traction in the 80s, paleontologists began suspecting that feathered dromaeosaurs like Deinonychus might have been feathered, too. Some artists, including Backer and Gregory Paul, started adding feathers to their depictions, though the idea didn't become mainstream right away. However, the 1993 movie Jurassic Park had a massive cultural impact. Its raptors, based more on Deinonychus than on Velociraptor, showed the world an agile, terrifying, fully scaled predator. This reptilian image of dromaeosaurs dominated public perception for years. Even when feathers were added in some reconstructions, they were often sparse or tokenistic, keeping with the popular scaly look. In the 90s, Deinonychus fossils were also interpreted as evidence of pack hunting, especially in scenes of them attacking Tenontosaurus. This depiction of raptors hunting in groups became a staple of paleo art and popular culture. The discovery of fully feathered dinosaurs like Sinosauropteryx in the mid-90s, followed by feathered dromaeosaurs such as Sinornithosaurus, gradually restored the idea that Deinonychus was feathered. While this view was slow to take hold in popular culture, scientific depictions began embracing a more accurate vision. Early attempts at feathering were awkward, but recent decades have led to more refined, bird-like portrayals. Artists like Emily Willoughby have been particularly influential in shaping our modern understanding of Deinonychus as a feathered, bird-like predator. We now know that Deinonychus lived during the early Cretaceous, about 115 to 108 million years ago, in what is now the western and south-central United States. It grew up to about 3.4 meters long and stood around 1 meter tall, similar in size to a large dog. Its sharp, blade-like teeth and forward-facing eyes gave it excellent stereoscopic vision for hunting. Its arms were likely covered in wing-like feathers, and its tail was probably feathered, too, while being stiffened but still somewhat flexible. The sickle-shaped claws on its feet were probably used to pin down prey, allowing it to feast while balancing itself with flapping wings and tail movements. Although it's often depicted as a fast runner, its body was likely more suited for power than speed, functioning as an ambush predator, comparable to a giant groundhawk. Recent research has also questioned the idea of pack hunting, suggesting that Deinonychus may have scavenged in groups similar to modern Komodo dragons or crocodiles. However, evidence from trackways and studies of other dromaeosaurs like Euteraptor leaves open the possibility of social behavior in these dinosaurs.